thought about this the woman with the issue of blood comes to Jesus and she touched the hem of his garment and she was healed immediately but Lazarus a friend of Jesus he is Jesus's body they ate together they did hang out together many times and all that he falls sick until he died Jesus was not present. He, he could not experience what people who didn't even have a relationship experienced. Why is it sometimes that it is people who are closer to God, who have a relationship with Him, who serve Him, who dine with Him, who dine and wine with Him, who commune with Him on the same table, that seem to have more challenges than people who don't even know Him? If anyone should not have died, it's Lazarus. I mean, we know he was healed. On the fourth, fourth day, Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. And there he was out of the grave. But should he have died in the first place? If anyone should not have even died or fallen sick, it's Lazarus. His, his good friend. Jesus knew about it. Jesus said, Lazarus, our friend is sick. And eventually, he said to people around him, Lazarus, our friend, is dead. Let us go. For this happened for your sake, that God may be glorified. But then, why did he have to die in the first place? Until he was raised on the fourth day, with, there was no manifestation any, in any kind of God's presence of God's power it was just like any other ordinary person have you wondered why it seems like you go through circumstances like just an ordinary person yet you have a relationship with God think about it plan and calling for your life is no immunity against adversity. In fact, it attracts adversity. Take Lazarus for instance. He's a personal friend to Jesus. He must have been thinking, oh, Jesus is going to come soon and I'll be, I'm going to be healed. And then it got worse. And then he's thinking, oh, Jesus is going to be there and I'm going to get healed. And it gets worse. To the point where he deteriorated and died and Jesus knew about it Jesus knew about it because Jesus told people that were around him Lazarus our friend is ill and then eventually he said Lazarus our friend is asleep Jesus knew about it but it seemed like for a while Jesus did nothing about it there are times we go through some circumstances in life and it seems and it seems like God is doing nothing about it let me say that again do we go through sometimes uh, some very difficult circumstances and it's going to seem like God is doing nothing about it 
but it is not what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. It might look like the end of the road and there is nothing you can do anymore that all hope is lost, but it's not what it looks like life they wanted healing as they've seen her and heard of miracles like jairus daughter like the centurion servant like the woman with the issue of blood they had some reference points in their mind all this had determined how mary and martha and even lazarus had set their expectations our expectations are always and often most often times tied to our understanding but God's ways are beyond our understanding. God's intention is greater than your greatest imagination. Whatever has happened, I don't care what has happened in your life, it has not stopped God's plan. <laughs> what happened to you all those years did not stop God's plan for your life. Huh? What happened to you yesterday has not stopped God's plan for your life. What happened to you while you were a child has not stopped God's plan for your life. Oh, look at somebody and help me tell them. It hasn't stopped God's plan for my life. If you can't find anybody beside you, get up and go to a mirror and, and look at yourself. Call your own name and tell yourself it hasn't stopped God's plan for my life. Now watch this, watch this. Lazarus was dead, but God's plan for his life was not dead. <laughs> the man was dead, but God still had a plan. If death was not strong enough to stop God's plan for Lazarus's life, tell me what's strong enough to stop God's plan for your life. You're not even dead yet. As long as you're alive, there is hope. Sickness, my goodness, is not strong enough to stop God's plan for your life if death could not stop God's plan for Lazarus' life. Discouragement cannot be strong enough to stop God's plan for your life obscurity my god i know you've been in an obscure place it's not strong enough to stop god's plan for your life heartbreak i know they left you and they broke your heart but it is not strong enough rejection that that rejection you went through is not strong enough <laughs> to stop God's plan for your life. Divorce is not strong enough to stop God's plan for your life, child of God. Your present circumstance cannot stop God's plan from coming to pass. God has you in mind. God is still God still has you in mind. <laughs> My goodness, God still has a plan. You need to, when you wake up in the morning, you need to get up and look at yourself, look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, God still has a plan for me. God loves me and God has a plan for my life. Go to the mirror and preach to yourself. Don't wait for a preacher to preach to you. You got to preach it. To yourself, the Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord. Don't wait for a preacher to encourage you. And don't even wait for me to encourage you. Encourage yourself in the Lord. God still has a plan for me. This is not the end. It's just the beginning. Glory to God. It felt it felt like Jesus had helped everybody except Lazarus. Except his own friend Lazarus. That's what pained Mary and Martha. And they said unto Jesus, you knew he was sick, didn't you? If you had been here, he would not have died. We know the benefit, we, we know the story because we saw the end of it. We have the benefit of hindsight. At the time, in the moment while it was happening, 
they had no idea what was about to happen. Many times, you may not have an idea how something is going to turn out. It doesn't mean that it's not going to turn out for your good. The fact that you don't have an idea how it's all going to end does not mean that God is not at work. They have heard and watched him do miracles for others. And they thought that, well, uh, how could he do all of that for everybody else and not do for us, his good friends? Have you ever thought that God has been kind? Thought you've seen God's kindness and goodness in the lives of people, other people, and you wonder why not me? God's intention for you is greater than your expectation. So if your expectation hasn't showed up yet, it means some God has something better. God has something bigger. Who told you that your expectation was, what you expected was the best that God could ever do? Who told you that he's not able to do exceeding abundantly, far above not just above, but far above. Whatever is beyond your imagination, you cannot measure or quantify. And guess what? That's the realm that God dwells in. The realm that you cannot measure. The realm that you cannot quantify. <laughs> what God is bringing you into is something that cannot be measured by imagination. It cannot be quantified. My goodness, it's the, it's the God dimension. Oh, yes. That was the dimension of miracle that Martha, Mary, and Lazarus were about to receive. That which they could not have conceived. <laughs> that which they could not have imagined, that, that which they could not, in their wildest imagination, my goodness, they could not have imagined what Jesus was about to do. The first day went by, uh, the second day went by, uh, the third day went by, uh, and it they had completely lost hope, uh, and the, on the Fourth day is when Jesus shows up. How is it that it was when Lazarus died? When Jesus said, Our friend Lazarus is dead, became it was exactly uh, the moment that Jesus had been waiting for. Mm. So it was intentional, oh God, that he didn't show up on the first day Lazarus fell sick. It was intentional that he didn't show up on, uh, on after two weeks of sickness. We don't know how long Lazarus was sick for, but it was intentional that he didn't show up, Holy Spirit, when Lazarus died. It was intentional uh, that he didn't show up uh, on the uh, when the first day passed. Uh, I don't know who I'm speaking to. I might as well preach this. Uh, it was intentional uh, that God didn't show up when you expected him to. Uh, my goodness, uh, because it's working out something that you couldn't have prayed for. For. <laughs> yes, if Mary and Martha could have prayed, my goodness, if Mary and Martha could have said a prayer, it's going to be, Lord Jesus, heal my brother. When he died, the best prayer they could have prayed was, Lord, raise him up. But after the first day, and the second day went by, and the third day went by. Uh, they couldn't have, they, I imagine that they would have stopped praying. And that's when Jesus stepped in. Uh, I don't know what was that thing you probably stopped asking God about. Uh, God is stepping in at this moment. Uh, Yes, thank you, Jesus. God has stepped in uh, and it's going to start work turning around. Uh, yes, uh, it is going to start turning around. Uh, it is going to start working together for your good, for all things. Uh, maybe you didn't hear me. Uh, 
all things work together. I don't know what thing you can think about, but it's part of all things working together for your good. God will exceed your expectation. It is your time to emerge. It is your moment. Oh, glory to God. The time is now. When Jesus eventually showed up uh, on the scene, uh, he cried out with a loud voice and said, Lazarus, come forth. <laughs> and the Bible says that Lazarus came out of the grave unassisted. <laughs> My goodness, he's been dead for four days. My goodness, but he came out on his own, unassisted. I don't know if he hopped out. I don't know if he walked out because he was still in grave clothes, but he came out. Uh, yes, in grave clothes, he came out. Unassisted, he came out. My goodness, because the word of God that Jesus spoke, Hope was powerful enough to get him out of the grave. He needed no other assistance. My goodness, it was the word, it was strong, it was powerful enough to get him out of the grave of four days. If the word of God was strong and powerful enough to get Lazarus out of the grave of four days, his word is short enough to get you out. All you need is the word of God. His word is strong, is powerful, stronger than a double-edged sword. You are coming out as Lazarus emerged. You are going to emerge. It is your time to emerge. Child of God, it's your moment to emerge. God bless you. Thank you.